spring break is coming up and beauty reporter Kirby Johnson is concerned about your skin. She is here to show us the best products with SPF. Hi Kirby. Hi Matt, that's right. I'm here to tell you all about SPF and exactly what you need. Since it is becoming spring, the sun is out, it's shining at least here in Los Angeles. And SPF 30 is probably the lowest amount of SPF you need to really protect your skin. I needed it this weekend. I burnt my neck while I, I was outside. I saw it was that. beautiful. <laughs> so you have the best SPF products right now that have a 30 or higher. Yeah, 30 actually protects you from about 96% of the sun's rays. There's no sunscreen that protects you from 100%, but with an SPF 30, at least you know you can reapply it, uh, reapply it every two to three hours and it'll protect you from those UVA and UVB rays. But like I said, the key, Reapplication okay. by all means. Reapply. <laughs> Every Not two to just three one hours. time will exactly. get you through the whole day. Okay, yes. what's our first product? Okay, it's from Amore Pacific. This is a Korean uh, skincare brand, and this is a brand new launch. It's actually a CC cream. When you look at it, it looks like a powder, but when you open it up, it's filled with this really creamy tinted moisturizer. So it's going to help with um, any discoloration you may have in your face. It's deeply moisturizing, and it's an SPF 50, so you can't get any better than that. It's also protecting from UVA, UVB, and free radicals in, in the air. So okay. a lot of protection there. There is. Is this a foundation or is it more just to a light concealer, like a tinted? You know what? It is a tinted moisturizer, but one thing I like about it, it dries really quickly. So if you do need to add more coverage, you can do so and it won't look cakey or like it's layered on your face. Okay. Now what about a natural product with SPF? Definitely. So for your body, you also want to make sure that your skin is protected as well. Alba Botanica has this lavender uh, SPF. SPF 45 sunscreen for your body. It's extremely emollient, it's not greasy, and it doesn't have a sunscreen smell. It actually smells like lavender, Ooh. and it's very um, it's very hydrating, but in addition, it's supported by the Skin Cancer Foundation, so it has a lot of clout behind it, and it's a vegetarian product. They do not test on animals. It's cruelty-free. Oh, free. what a great product, and it's yes. so nice not to have that smell. Sunscreens all have that common scent. Exactly, especially if you want to wear it every day. You can put it on, and no one will know the difference. Very smart, very smart. Now, what about what, an SPF with a moisturizer in it? That way you save a step in the morning, totally. everyone's looking to save time. Well, this is perfect for your face, and we have two options. One's our drugstore option, it's from Eucerin, it's an SPF 30. The other is from DDF, it's an SPF 45, and that's more of a luxe brand. But both are hydrating, so you don't have to mix the sunscreen with your moisturizer when Good. you put it on your face. Also, uh, it's not gonna leave behind any residue. A lot of times when you put on a sunscreen on your face, it's kind of chalky and white. None of that here. And these protect from UVB rays, but also UVA rays. Okay, any last minute tips? in regards to SPF. Yes, okay, so just to clarify, UVB rays are the rays that burn you, so you have that protection from an SPF, but also you need to think about the UVA rays. UVA rays age you, so look okay. for physical sunscreens that have titanium dioxide and zinc oxide because those will protect, protect you from both rays. Okay, got it. You're like a scientist. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Kirby.